All right. So uh, going on to lesson two now, just real quick review. Lesson one, we learned about strings in Python using GitHub Copilot, uh, which was pretty good. I mean, I got it open here. It, it did a great job. Uh, Copilot did a great job of uh, help me write. Sorry, not string syntax. Um, <laughs> um, and again, remember, this is all ad hoc. Nothing's planned here. Um, so we're going to move on from the syntax stuff. Oh, really quick. I did ask a friend about this. Remember, I was struggling with like, what the heck does this mean? And this is a really cool way in Python of jumping to different indexes and ranges um, in a list, which is super cool. Um, but anyway, so the next one we're doing uh, is see Code Academy has strings and console output. So let's see how far we get with GitHub Copilot um, with that. So we've already actually done some strings. I don't know what else I need to do with strings. Um, I guess this whole thing is strings, isn't it? So I, yeah, okay, okay, escaping characters, there you go. So let's see, um, oh, let's do, um, let's do this, let's do strings, strings.py. And uh, let's kick off the old copilot, let's say uh, write a string, wait, let's do this. Let's do um, my string. World, just so I have something. And then I get escape a string. Will it do anything? Escape a single quote. Here we go. My string. That's that's actually concatenation. So nope, it did not do it right. Ooh, look at that. Nope, that's string replace. <laughs> um, let's see if it'll. Uh, is it smart enough? Let's see what Copilot does when I go. That's my friend, right? So that's fine. And then that's my friend. It's not doing this. So let's see here. Will it do escape string? Actually, I bet you it's not even going to run because it's a. Uh, there's an error. Yeah, it's not even like running now. All right, so I can't figure out how to escape. That's interesting. Um, that's my... Oh, I did it there, right? I guess that's escaping as double quotes. Let's do... Um, here we go. Print string. And then let's open the terminal. Wait, it's actually a Python run file in terminal. Run it. My second string. Oh, look at that. Uh, curious. And let's run this thing. So that's what's interesting. So it just completely removed it versus, yeah, okay. So this is what I would expect, this right here. Um, Cause it's like in every language, but what is going on here? Double quotes, that's my string. It just completely removes it. Curious, right? Uh, really messing with it now. But so like if I do, Oh yeah, it's gonna it's not it's not gonna like that. It's gonna have to do that. All right, so I have no idea what this is and why this works. Yay for learning language weirdos. <laughs> okay, uh, but this works. This is exactly what I would expect. Um, you can see down here it escapes it. So whatever. Um, all right, so that's that. What's the next thing we're learning here? Ooh, accessing a string by index. Okay.
right? So that would be the T, right? All right, let's run that. That's pretty self-explanatory and what you would expect, right? Yep, that's easy. Um, there's also like that thing that I learned from that last lesson, this range thing. I think I can use this range. Ah, where the heck is it? Uh, it's somewhere. I'm blind. Um, There it is. This let's see if it does. My string. And if I did this. What happens? What happens? Let's Yay, it worked. It did like what? Okay, so that's cool. So string, I guess, is treated like kind of like in JavaScript. It's an object, but it's also like in this case, this is a list, right? Isn't greeting? Oh, no, no, it was a string. I'm stupid. Okay, so of course it's going to do the same thing because that's what it does. Um, cool. What if I did this? If I just did like that? Doesn't Isn't it like the range thing? Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, uh, what else we got? Um, we already did some of these string method things, I think, didn't we? Yeah, I think we stumbled upon some of this stuff. Pretty self-explanatory. It's like, um, what is the length? Help if I could spell length of the string, boom, length. Um, what is the total number of characters in the string, which should be the same thing. Cool, all right, man, this natural language stuff on this is so cool. Um, capitalize the string, there it is. Lower case the string, there it is. Kind of what you'd expect. And then if we run it, there it is. Man, that's so cool. Uh, love it. Yeah, there it is. I love how in this NLP you can just say all caps and it knows what you're talking about. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, what else we got? Um, yeah, I already did that. I already did that. I already did that. Dot notation. Singular so why. You use length string, string, but dot notation is string upper for the rest. What else? Um, already printed strings, printing variables, string concatenation. We already did that in the last one. Explicit string conversion. Right, you got to convert it. Okay, so it's casting. So, um, Let's do this var one equals one. And then let's do cast to string and then print var two. All right. How do I do a type? Check type, print type var two, class of string. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Um, string formatting. So we already did this um, in the first one, I think. All right, cool. So that was easy and simple and straightforward. And I mean, maybe with the conversion, um, to int. yeah, there's some of this stuff. So then I'm now converting this back. Yeah, so, okay. Easy, easy, easy.